Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alexander Florzo. Welcome back to the channel. Long time no see. It's been a long time since I posted a video. Ooh, too long. But I'm finally coming around with my review of the Rockat Torch. This is a brand new gamer type streamer uh, boom mic microphone from Rockat, which is supposed to be a pretty dope value and we're gonna be taking a look at it today. Note, I have recorded this entire video with this microphone. Uh, as I speak right now, it is actually recording me, so you can kind of get a good idea of how good the, or how at least decent the audio pickup is when I'm talking to the camera like this. It's over here, and it's still picking me up pretty decently. All right, so right on top, we have our instruction manual, and then we have the torch mic on the stand and everything in all of its glory. I noticed right away the metal body very awesome and then on the back here we have a couple USB-C ports to connect everything together and we have a little switch for our gesture muting more on that later and our little LED button more on that later as well all of the knobs super nice as usual from Rockat and a little gain slider and all of that is seated in a very signature um, blackened aluminum metal faceplate for Rockat's more premium products. Then the microphone here is removable with a little bit of struggle, and that can be connected to any boom mic arm, more or less, any standardized boom mic arm. And then you can run a cable going down the arm, actually hooking into the back of this base, and then a cable running out the back of the base, hooking into your computer, so you can still use all of those awesome knobby boys. So then we have a few cords here. We have a medium length one, and then we have a really nice long one for if you're using a boom mic, which is really nice that they included that just because. And then we have our short one for if you're just using it on the regular stand. That's something I didn't expect is that they would include that extra cord. And I think that's an absolute win. First of all, some of the specs that they claim on this thing is 24-bit audio, which is supposed to be studio quality, also zero latency, and dual condenser capsules. This thing's also got some dope RGB on the little logo right here, as well as a couple of strips RGB. You can't really see them right here, but maybe I'll get a nice composite shot of that. But also taking a closer look at the physical of the product here, we have a gain up and down, sort of like the volume of the mic, if you will. Then we have a volume up and down for whatever you'll be hearing through your headset or through your speakers. And then of course we have our little dial thingamabobber to switch between modes. We have a stereo mode, which Rockat says is supposed to be good for picking up instruments or singing or a larger room of sounds. And each of these settings actually has a bit of a RGB lighting correlation. So right now you can see it's green. That's because it is on the second setting. The stereo is purple, but this one is green and this one is called cardio. It's supposed to be the best um, definition, the best pickup. Uh, with the most sound quality. They say that it's good for ASMR or podcasting or things like that that are a very close up personal microphone experience. And then the last one we have is called Whisper. That's, I guess, their personal take on just really good pickup. So it's supposed to be great at picking up your voice when you have to talk quietly, if you're trying not to make too much noise, but you still wanna be heard on the game. And all of these settings seem to work pretty good in my experience. The first two settings are kind of the same in how the audio sounds when recording, but the last one, of course, is just a little bit audio boosted. So I can understand how that would help if you're trying to talk quietly and still be picked up. And that's actually not all we have for knobs and buttons. We have a button around the back side, which adjusts the RGB lighting. And we also have a little switch, which adjusts the gesture muting. This microphone can mute if you just swipe your hand over top. And the little switch on the back of the unit actually adjusts the height at which you are to swipe your hand across for it to work. 
The swipe across muting isn't particularly impressive in its response times, but it does make for a cool feature that is kind of like over the top and like next gen feeling. Now, as for the actual quality of this microphone, I would say it's pretty top notch, at least when you're talking um, gaming. You know, gaming, uh, streaming, podcasting, stuff like that, just on somewhat of an amateur level. It's definitely like very high end in that area. It's as good as heck, as good as I'll need for a long time. I'm actually pretty happy to have it because I'm going to be trying to record more on it, maybe even record all of my videos with separate audio. But that great audio quality isn't really a big surprise with that $99.99 USD price tag. So I guess that begs the question, is the Rock App Torch a good purchase? I would say that it depends what you're looking for. If you're looking for a budget microphone, it's really not quite in that zone. If you're looking to start up a serious podcast or some serious streaming, then this is definitely a pretty good sweet spot if you're not looking to spend, you know, hundreds of dollars on a microphone right away. It's also got a really nice premium feel for like everyday use. You have a nice aluminum faceplate over top of it. All the knobs are nice high quality. The cables that you get in the box are nice and braided. They just feel real solid like they will last. As for plug-in features when it comes to plugging it into your computer and opening up Rock Hat's Neon program, there aren't really a lot of options. I would have liked to see, you know, some digital gain options or balancing options, but it's actually just the RGB, which is, you know, still cool. So you can sync this up with Rock Hat's other RGB products. But other than that, there's not any more customization that you can do with it other than what you see just on the physical panel, which is still plenty to work with. Now, when it comes to competitors, there is the Razer Siren X and Siren Mini, which are a direct competitor and a cheaper competitor. The Siren X, it's the same price, but it is lacking in some of the features. I can't really say how the audio quality is in comparison, but it's not like trying out this mic you're gonna be you know, wanting much more unless you're used to using studio grade professional equipment. As for the Razer Siren Mini, it is a just a cute little microphone and it's like half the price. So that would be something to look into if you are looking for something a lot cheaper because this, you know, $99.99 USD, that's a pretty hefty price tag for just one part of your setup. It's definitely close to a top of the line peripheral, at least when it comes to gaming brands. If you are looking for something a little fancier, like legit studio grade stuff, Razer also does have their Siren Elite, which is, I think it's 200 USD. So that's really, you know, it's doubling the price, but I'm sure it comes with some serious boost in quality. And then Corsair also has their Wave series microphones, which are supposed to be a little higher end. So that would be something to check out if you're looking to go big or go home. But in my opinion, this is a really nice middle of the grounds microphone. It's almost on the expensive side, I would say, at least for the average gamer. But if you're really looking to spend a lot on your setup, if you're a hardcore gamer, then this is definitely what I would call a middle of the grounds mic with great value with all of the features. I love features personally. I think sometimes they can just, you know, they can just totally change the experience of your setup because all of a sudden you're able to, you know, turn down your volume with a knob on your keyboard or on your microphone, which can just all of a sudden smooth over the experience so much more. And so I think it's pretty cool that Rock Hat has included a swipe to mute feature and all their little knobs and RGB lighting. I think it's a pretty sweet mic and I think it's worth checking out. So you can go check it out in the link down below if you feel so inclined. Uh, that's all I have today for this video. So thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it or if it helped you up, <sighs> it helped you up. If it helped you up, oh my gosh. If you enjoyed the video and if it helped you out, please do hit that thumbs up. And if you wanna see more reviews and projects, 
and informational tech videos in general, please do hit that subscribe button and the little notification bell so that you can be notified whenever I drop a new video. And uh, that's all. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.